how long do you expect your smartphone's battery to last? It's the question THL is asking, and their latest smartphone may make you rethink your answer. This is my full review of the THL Ultra Thin 4400. I'll start with the design. It comes in both black or white, although the white model isn't widely available just yet. The back cover of the device is made of an anti-fingerprint plastic material. I really like how it feels, however I notice that it easily scratched. The camera also slightly obtrudes from the back, something you may dislike. Sides of the phone have a premium feeling and make the phone easy to grip. The power button is on the left side and was difficult to press while using the phone with just my right hand. The volume rocker on the right side was easy to press and was positioned well. The headphone jack and micro USB port are both on the top of the device, which is great for charging the phone while listening to music. It's really a personal preference of the charging port placement, but I'm usually satisfied as long as the headphone jack is nearby. What's most interesting about the design is the thinness. At just 8.9mm thin, it's hard to believe that this phone houses a 4400mAh battery. It weighs 158 grams, making it somewhat heavy compared to other smartphones. The 4400 has capacitive buttons, unlike the T200, which has on-screen keys. These buttons illuminate white and are fairly bright. Interestingly, it has a small chin with a single microphone on the right side. This is actually the only microphone on this device, and it leaves for inferior noise cancellation. It's there, but it's just not as good as other smartphones. The earpiece seems to also be slightly distorted, and callers said they heard distortion on their end as well. Overall, call quality seems to be decent, but not up to par with other smartphones. Press 9 for customer service. To repeat these menu options, press the star key. Or to end this call, please hang up. The THL 4400 features a 5-inch 720p display with a PPI of 293. It's coated in Corning Gorilla Glass 3, however I did manage to get a few minor scratches in my review unit. Simply put, this is scratch resistant, not scratch proof. The display looks great indoors and has decent viewing angles. However, when using the phone outdoors, the display was difficult to see despite the brightness being set to high. The resolution is disappointing, however it is important to remember that this device is focused on battery life. There's also a notification LED at the top of the phone, which flashed red whenever I received a text message or call. It also flashed green whenever I received a notification. I really like notification LEDs, and THL has always included them. The speaker on the THL 4400 sounded great and was loud and clear. However, when I set the phone down on a table, the volume and quality quickly fell. I found this really annoying, but understand the speaker placement limitation on a device like this. The rear camera on the THL 4400 is an 8 megapixel BSI OmniVision OV8825. Overall, I would say it's pretty average. It could easily handle well lit situations, but fell short in low light conditions. I also took some sample video. Running Android 4.2.2 Jelly Bean, the THL 4400 is looking more outdated each day. I really wish Chinese phone makers would ship their phones with newer versions of Android. As Google continues to release newer versions, these phones are looking more outdated. If you purchase this phone and keep it for two years, you're going to be way behind in comparison to other smartphones. THL has changed all of the stock icons to more colorful, rounded icons. This makes the phone look more like a toy, in my opinion, and I wish they would just leave them or give us an option to keep the default. The launcher is also slightly modified. The app drawer button has been switched to make it look like Android 4.4 KitKat, and any third-party app icon had circles added to them. I really dislike this look. They also have put some system apps in the beginning of the app drawer. This is very annoying and causes for a lot of confusion when searching for an app. It would have been better if they would just kept it alphabetical. THL has also bundled an audio enhancer, float app, and smart gesture. Float app is a small square that overlays the display. When you tap it, you see an overlay with video, music, calculator, and recorder options. It's a neat idea, but these options aren't customizable and it's kind of gimmicky. I kept it off, however it randomly enabled itself when I was using this device. I'm not exactly sure why, perhaps it was an issue with my review unit. Smart gesture is a bit more useful. Instead of pressing the power button to unlock the phone, I could double tap the display. I really like this, however I found it wasn't as responsive as some other phones I have tested it in. 
There's also multiple gestures involving drawing letters on the screen to launch certain apps. This is a great idea, but again, there's no customization. Also, after drawing the letter, the phone would show me an animation of the letter being drawn and then launch the app. If I already drew the letter, then why would I need to see it again? This kind of ruins the feature for me, and I really think THL tried to do something great here, but failed execution. THL pushed an update for this phone on June 6, 2014. I didn't notice any major changes in the update, with the exception of new smart gestures. It's pretty impressive that THL released an over-the-air update when most Chinese smartphone makers don't care to support their products after selling them. I hope THL will continue with these updates and work on improving the software experience. THL has shipped the 4400 with a MediaTek MTK6582 1.3 GHz quad-core processor. I noticed that apps did take a while to launch, and I did experience some slowdown when testing the device. Daily tests are more than possible on this device, but HD video streaming dropped several frames. This caused a delay between audio and video, and makes for a terrible viewing experience. If you like to watch videos or movies on your phone, this is something that will influence your buying decision. What's really disappointing is that the phone's battery is capable of playing hours of videos, but the processor really limits the quality. Gaming was just okay on this device. I wasn't able to play Asphalt 8 Airborne due to storage limitations, more on that in a bit, but I was able to play basic games without any issues. The 4400 ships with 4GB of internal storage. 4GB is a very small amount of storage to begin with, but after formatting, you're only left with about 1.3GB. To put that into perspective, that's about 10 minutes of full HD uncompressed video. That means you can't really store any movies or longer videos on the 4400. Even if you don't care about videos or movies, you'll still be in a pinch when downloading apps and games, music, or taking pictures. Luckily, you can expand the storage via microSD card, but only up to 32GB. Most phones nowadays support up to 64GB, and some even 128GB. And even when I did add a microSD card, I wasn't able to move any apps or games. I also couldn't use it for new app installations. I know it's not a problem with my card, because I've used it on other Chinese smartphones without any of these issues. Either way, the storage and expansion options here are really bad, and it won't satisfy many people's needs. GPS on the THL 4400 worked great, and it didn't have any issues finding and tracking my location. Like most Chinese smartphones, the THL 4400 is dual SIM, so you can use two SIM cards at once. This is most important for emerging markets where cellular reception and roaming fees limit the use upon a single SIM. It's not as useful here in the United States, but I think it'll be a nice addition for some people. Finally, I'll address the elephant in the room, that is, battery life. I did a few battery tests involving both light and average use, as well as a video playback test. With light use, I was able to use the phone for 4 days on a single charge. During this test, I was on the AT&T network and connected to Wi-Fi. I made about 5 hours of phone calls, streamed an hour of YouTube, and browsed the web for about 2 hours. If you're watching this video, chances are you're going to use it more than that, so I also tested with average use. This involved about 2 hours of phone calls, 3 hours of YouTube videos, about a half hour of gaming, and an hour of web browsing. I was able to last just over 2 days, connected to Wi-Fi and cellular. DHL claimed that the phone would supply 10 hours of video playback, and I found that it lasted for about 12 and a half hours with Wi-Fi off and brightness all the way up. There are so many variables to consider for these tests, so please understand that these are just estimates and may not match your test or experiences. As you may have already guessed, a large battery requires a large amount of time to charge. THL boasts the quick charge feature, which I found to be very necessary for charging the phone in a reasonable amount of time. Even with quick charge, the battery would take about 10 hours to charge from 0 to 100. Overall, I think the battery life is great, but I think the charging time needs more attention. When you buy the THL Ultra Thin 4400 from Panduil, you receive two quick start guides,
a screen protector, a USB cable, an unbranded AC adapter, earbuds, an OTG adapter, a rubber case, and a flip view case. The flip view case was okay, but I couldn't customize the watch face or see any of my notifications with the cover closed. I do like the option, but I honestly don't think many people will use it without customization. The included OTG adapter allows you to plug in any USB device, such as a flash drive. This is a great feature, and the bundle adapter is pretty awesome. This phone is for a single group of people. If you only have $200 to spend and really want the battery life, then it's a good choice. If you think battery life is more important than call quality, display resolution, Android version, performance, and storage capacity, then it's a great choice. But if you do care about the details and are willing to spend more for something better, then I think you should wait. THL is releasing the THL 5000 soon, which features the same design but with better internals and a 5000 mAh battery. If you're interested in the THL Ultra Thin 4400, you can purchase it from PandaWill via the link in the description. Thank you for watching and please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe to see more phone unboxings and reviews.